Hey everyone, welcome to this vlog. It is currently Friday at about 5ish and I'm getting ready to host a garden party. I've been wanting to do this for like two years maybe. I've seen people on the internet do it and I just have always wanted to do it but I can't really do it for like my birthday or anything because my birthday's in November so I didn't find a good occasion to do it. And then I finally decided I don't need a good occasion. I just want to throw a garden party because I think they are adorable. I'm getting ready for that. Already have my hair curled. The dress code for this event is you have to wear a dress. Happy update because I'm sure you want to know. His crazy is starting to come out. We've now had him for five days and he is getting wild, getting into everything being the typical puppy that you would expect however i'm having a really hard time adjusting to this because i'm the one that normally stays home with him alex's job is just not as flexible as my job so i'm able to stay home with him and it's just been really hard to get work done when i have to try to squeeze it into his naps when he's awake i normally do like things around the house so that I can be up and watching him and I can pick him up if he's in something he's not supposed to be doing but it's just been really hard to adjust honestly so I wanted to share that because my mom made a comment that my Instagram makes it look like we're just having a blast but we are having a little bit of a hard time adjusting so I wanted to share that realness you're welcome. So instead of rambling on, let's get this vlog started. I'll show you us setting up for the garden party. set up so far I got lights I got this big table and I got these two tablecloths from Target I don't have anything to make the chairs cuter but at least the table is gonna be cute ignore the screaming in the background I don't know what the heck that is some kids <laughs> some neighbor kids so that's what I got set up so far then this is gonna be a food table, we're gonna have another food table, and then we're gonna have a photo booth on that fence. And that is kind of the plan. Looks like it's only gonna be about that much. Wow. Taylor Swift in the background is the best. I'm so excited! Winston! Winston! There's a beautiful gazelle running through the forest in the background. We got all the goods. No, hopefully he doesn't start that. That's not good. <laughs> just says because that's all we can afford because the tickets are expensive so yeah. it's just me and Nate this is Nate my uh, 16 year old brother the youngest the youngest the coolest. all right you can keep that title <laughs> I dropped off Winston at my parents house and we're gonna go have a fun day 
Winston was there? Yeah. I dropped him off. He's you, taking a nap. You didn't show him to me. He's taking a nap. He was there while you were making fly traps for the vlog. Oh, yeah. We made it. <laughs> it's really busy out here. My camera's fogging up because it's humid in this area of the country. But Mr. Winston, we're back with Mr. Winston, back from the water park. Hello. We're giving you a bath. Yay. Get some water on you. He's not like it. Does not well, like it at all. Far, at least. You've taken baths before. First bath did not go well. He did not like it at all. <laughs> he's still he's still he's shaking. Shivering. I don't think he's cold. I don't cold. think he's cold, just nervous. So we're drying him off. Getting him cozy. That was a traumatic experience. Do you have like a little brush? morning everybody as you can see i got roasted yesterday roasted when i get home from church since it's sunday i'm going to sit with some aloe vera on because i need that but i am the photographer at church today so i am heading there early it's about 7 45 at the moment I woke up with the puppy. We took care of the puppy and now I'll like put him to bed for a little nap. We'll wake him up before we head to church because I have to come back and get Alec. Sorry, this is complicated to explain, but the reason why I wanted to start this clip is I just wanted to talk about how we've adjusted to life with a puppy because it's been really hard for me as the one that works from home I primarily take care of the puppy but it's just been hard to keep up with my work responsibilities since he's been here I typically try to fit in as much work as possible when he naps but then I end up forgetting to eat, I end up forgetting to do other things that I need to do for myself. So it's been really hard. But yesterday was a really good day for me because I went to the water park with my brother. Then I just came back and hung out with puppy. I made dinner, I ate all my meals yesterday, which is an accomplishment for me at the moment. I got to drive with my windows down and all of those things just made my stress and overwhelming emotions kind of cease and it felt really nice to do those things and to feel better and I was just thanking the Lord for this life and these moments and he was just really encouraging me that taking care of another it's not a person, but another thing. <laughs> I don't have to do that all by myself. Same goes for when I'm a mother one day. I don't have to do that by myself. No one asked me to. The Lord is there and willing to help. He gives discernment so that we know what is the right decision and what is the wrong decision. And he gives us wisdom and gives us energy because I've been so tired. So that's been my encouragement with little puppy because he has been a lot to adjust to and definitely our decision to get the puppy was a little impulsive so I was not prepared on what this would entail but the Lord is growing and stretching me through this. So I just wanted to share that update because of course getting a puppy is all fun and exciting and they're really cute, but I also wanted to share that's been a hard adjustment. And there are pros and cons, obviously. And I don't want to look like on 
social media that I just have it all together and I'm doing it all well. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. But I'm going to finish doing my makeup and then we will head to church to be the photographer. are we using nowadays because I'm still using the Laurel wow L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I'd like to try a new one but what I don't like is those spiky bristles that are really hard I like them soft because I always poke my eye with those so I like more voluminous ones not lengthening mascaras so Please leave your recommendations down below. I need some recommendations. mentioned in past videos I've been in a reading slump and truthfully it's because of this book and it's not that this book is not amazing I'm 57% of the way through it's that it's so long and I just am not motivated to read it at all I do love this series I do love this world like I said the book is so good it's just so intimidating to me that I never pick it up so I'm trying to read it but I wanted to show you my rest day lineup so today is Sunday which is my rest day and it's all of these things right here so obviously iron flame then I have a journal I do my journal prompts you've seen them in my reset video so I won't explain that but I do that I'm in a book club we're reading start with why by Simon Sinek I've read this book in college and I really liked it so we are going to read it for a second time. Then I'm reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book I'm not trying to read fast. I want to read it slow and I want to actually remember all the things that it's explaining so I'm not too worried about that one. And then I may just start Meet Me at the Lake as just a little boost, a little motivation to get back into reading. I may start this today. I think I just need something summary too. I'm very much like a vibes reader. <laughs> I like to read based off of the seasons and the vibes and fantasy books like this one really are fall and winter to me. That's kind of when I like to read fantasy books, but summer and spring are for romances and silly little stories so that is why I kind of want to read this one instead or read them simultaneously we'll see but that is my Sabbath day lineup there's a lot a lot of things after we got some food everybody conked out me Alec and Winston all took naps so we got those naps in then Winston woke up we took him outside and we played with him now he's back asleep and we have to run a few errands. We're going to deliver some, a casserole I made to a husband and wife that is in our friend group and connected with our church. We're giving them a casserole because they just had their first baby. So we're going to deliver that and then we have to do some setup for our young adults event tomorrow. So we're gonna do that and it shouldn't take too long. We're gonna come back and Winston should be getting up from his nap. So we're gonna run those errands. I won't really show you that because it's boring. And then tonight, I asked Alec if we could have a little 
family bonfire in the backyard. We have a fire pit and we have s'mores and all the fire stuff, fire starter. So I was wanting all three of us to go outside, have a little family bonfire. So we'll do that and have a fun summery evening. What? Where did Winston go? Where are you? You're underneath there. Oh, there you are. Winston's right there. Fire. Alec was right there. He just went to grab something. Got some more stuff. Good little family night.